Okay guys, quick video on how to replace your keyboard in a um, HP Pavilion um, laptop. First off, you need to take <laughs> the battery out. And you'll see in here, we've got six screws and they all need to come out so that we don't do any damage trying to take the keyboard out. So there's one. There's two. The reason why I'm doing um, this video is because uh, I needed to change one and I had to find out on my own all the little screws and everything that I had to take off. Right, on the bottom of your laptop you'll find some screws and there should be a screw that has a little picture or on the next to the screw should have a little picture of a keyboard. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that very well on the, on the camera here. But that's the, that's the uh, screw that release, releases the central screw to the keyboard. So you need to obviously unscrew that and take that out. Like so. Okay, so now we're going to go to taking the keyboard out. Now we've done that, screws, you'll find this would just be loose like so. And we should be able to very gently just pop that off, like so. And then, if I bring the camera closer, <coughs> hopefully you'll see a little bit better. Right, <coughs> there's some screws inside that's holding the keyboard. You'll see they're holding the keyboard. There's only three, I think, or four. Three there is. So if we take the screwdriver, if we take those off, oh. that's one, two, now as you can see I'm replacing this keyboard, originally I've replaced it once because the dog got hold of it and chewed a load of keys off and completely destroyed the actual keyboard itself. So I replaced it and the keyboard that came I bought on eBay and it came from Hong Kong and unfortunately the corner of it, as you can see on this, was damaged. This button here was completely bent up like that when I came, when it came, the button was broken off it. So I've bent it back but it's not exactly what I wanted so uh, obviously I've gone and got another one. So the other keyboard, if I just go and get that. Is here. And it's identical, exactly the same. Do make sure you get the right makes and models. Although they look very similar, it's very deceiving when you get that when you get them and you realise that it's a little bit different. You haven't got the number pad or the enter button slightly different and what have you. And sometimes uh, that will have a big difference to trying to install it. So there's a new one. So we need to take out this old one. Now on the back of this old one, it's going to be very hard to show you. I think. Oh no, here we go. On the back of this old one you've got this data cable that's connected from the keyboard going straight into the laptop. Now this just slides out. It's very strange because it doesn't have a plug on it. So it just slides out of the connector. Like that. So it just slides out of the connector. And then to add your new one, you need to very carefully feed this in and make sure you don't get it on the wrong wires. You feed that back into the plug that we've just taken it out of obviously, without doing any damage and trying to not put too much pressure on it. Well, I did manage to speak to someone who was at that wedding ceremony and she told me the clean was 
There we go. So that's now connected in there. You clip all these back into underneath the keyboard and line up with the screws that we took out earlier. Okay, last one on the keyboard. And then we need to connect the trimming back to the keyboard. And all this just clicks back in place, you'll hear it all click as you're doing it, like that. And there we have it, so turn it back round again. Not forgetting to put the screw that released the keyboard, putting that back in again, like so. Put all your screws. No, I just putting the last few screws in there now. Just putting the last few screws in now. And then we'll have a look at the finished products. We have a new keyboard with no missing keys. There we go, put your battery back in. And one working brand new keyboard. As easy as that.